If you're looking to add control and overall confidence to your topspin forehand, then I'm gonna give you one simple tip that'll do it like that. Now, to help me demonstrate this, I've got the Topspin Pro. To get your own for at-home practice, use my link in the description below. I'm also gonna pin it in the first comment. So it's called the 212, and the numbers refer to how many hands are on the racket throughout the stroke. I don't want you to think of the topspin forehand as a one-handed stroke. I want you to think of it as two-handed on the way back. You hit with one and you, and you finish with two. So it looks like this. Rack it back with two hands, hit with one, finish with two. When you take the racket back initially with both hands on, it makes sure that you turn your front shoulder away from your opponent where your opponent can see the back of your front shoulder. You don't want your opponent to see your chest the whole time. That means you're not able to coil and uncoil into the shot and you're just gonna be using your arm. So we wanna take the racket back with both hands. Here's an easy way to practice that. Practice it with just your non-hitting hand on the throat of the racket. So this is what I'll have my students do. They'll practice taking the racket back with only their non-hitting hand. That way they get used to it going with the racket on the way back. At that point, that's when you wanna let go, and as the racket drops, your non-hitting hand will then clear out of the way. That's gonna help assist in that hip turn. You then spin up the back of the ball. You can see the ball spinning with topspin because my racket's closed below contact, and I spin up the back. But then we wanna add a, an element of control to the end of the swing, and not just swing wildly, but actually catch the racket when we're done to have a clear and concise finish to our swing, and then back to the ready position. So two, one, two. I'll hit a couple balls here. It's always good when you're hitting on your Topspin Pro to add a split step so that you get in the habit of doing that when you hit. That move right there, that split step, you wanna make that move as your opponent's hitting the ball. So you do a little hop. You can kind of see the rhythm here when they hit when I hit, when they hit, when I hit. And I'm using the 2-1-2, two, two. two hands, one hand, two hands. Go out and film yourself hitting four hands and check the footage and make sure that you're using the 2-1-2 two, two technique with your forehand. When you add this, the difference in your confidence and your control will go way up. Now, if you're looking for new people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, or if you wanna find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link in the description for Play Your Court. And it's playyourcourt.com slash two minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. Use the 2-1-2 technique on your forehand, and there's no doubt, you're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from twominutetennis.net. You got this.